uh, let's get back to these uh, select committee hearings. What kind of questions and answers are we likely to hear today? Well, David Allen Green is legal commentator at the New Statesman, head of media at the legal firm Pricekill & Co. He joins me by very good to see David Allen Green. Um, in terms of questions, both committees that uh, MPs are allowed to ask, they're protected by this issue of parliamentary privilege. Just explain that to us. It means they can more or less say what they like. Yeah, there are three things. There's what they can ask and what they can say. They can say anything. Any assumptions, any slurs, any assumptions, anything they can say. That's they have an absolute privilege both against criminal prosecutions and being sued in the civil courts. Okay. Then you've got the witnesses. They are witnesses. The privilege the witnesses have attaches to their evidence. Both in documentary form, if somebody decides to give letters or do other documents to the committee, they will be protected by privilege. What they say will also be protected by privilege as long as it is in answer to the parliamentarians' questions. They can't just say anything they like just because they're in a select committee. I see. Uh, and then there's what would happen if a witness refused to provide an answer to one of the parliamentarians' questions. And that is where we perhaps go into areas which have not been properly charted yet. Well, just let me ask you, I, mean, we'll, we'll, I want to ask you a bit more about that a bit later on, but just in terms of the responses they get, it's been said in advance that particularly when it comes to the Culture Media uh, and Sports Select Committee, that um, some of the witnesses there in the light of a criminal investigation should, could take the fifth, the American phrase for pleading the Fifth Amendment, the right not to incriminate yourself. Yes, if they're asked a direct question which they don't want to answer, uh, the position will then become is it a question, the answer to which would affect the proceedings of Parliament, is it that essential? Is the, is the Select Committee going to be hindered in its proper work because that answer has not been given or that document has not been provided? On the face of it, that would then become what is called uh, contempt of Parliament ah. under the jurisdiction of Sound, the High Court of Parliament. Sounds bad, but what can Parliament do about it? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be, the Select Committee would not be able to do anything there and then. They couldn't commit somebody to uh, the room which apparently is still there in Big Ben for these sort of I mean, this was the room that was talked about uh, in case the witnesses decided not, yes. to, not, not to turn up. The, the Select Committee itself would probably not be able to do anything by itself. It'd probably need to refer it either to the so-called Privileges Committee of the whole House or the whole House itself. Then the whole House would actually have to take a view on whether there was a good reason not to answer those questions. A simple non-answer would probably not be contempt if there was a good reason. Ongoing criminal investigations would, to my mind, be a good reason for somebody not to incriminate themselves with a direct answer, even though that answer would be privileged. Okay. You would have this artificial situation where somebody had some, some, said something in Parliament which was privileged, and if they refuse to say it again outside of Parliament, or under caution and arrest, then you'd get this ridiculous situation. So I think Parliament would be sensible and wouldn't, be, wouldn't adopt a misconceived And approach. on the other side uh, of the coin, long way away from uh, criminal trials and, and, and things like that, but in terms of the questioning, and we're told that some of the MPs are going to produce documents, yes. as you describe, under the uh, protection of parliamentary privilege, though, could, could a defence team not, though, argue that, that these have been aired in public before with such a large television audience that if it did come to a trial, it, th th that trial could be, could be prejudiced by what has been said and shown in that committee. Yes, I think a defence lawyer would want to see whether there has been a genuine attempt uh, to avoid prejudice at times like this. It is quite extreme when there are not live proceedings. Nobody has been charged who has been looked at today. There's, been no, there's no trial set. So it's a bit distant from any, any actual court proceedings. But yes, a, a, a canny, wise uh, criminal defence lawyer will try and see whether there is a, a way out. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts there, David. Uh, Alan you. Green there with uh, his views on uh, what can and can't be said in those select committee hearings.